My name is Melody Bates and I am part of the human resources team at Polar Semiconductor. Polar is a technology manufacturer in Bloomington, Minnesota. We have roughly 550 employees. Traditionally, manufacturing is a male-dominated industry. Polar wanted to lead the way for more women to enter manufacturing and also make a way for more women to enter semiconductor manufacturing more specifically. Proper supports for pregnant and breastfeeding mothers is key to that change and that inclusion. We had a lovely employee, a new mom, needing to express milk and she was facing some medical complications that were outside of our experience and our level of expertise. So we partnered with the Department of Labor and Industry to navigate this new to us situation. We uh, paired with a representative who helped us walk forward finding solutions that benefited both of us. Now we have um, enhanced our, our lactation room, the female engineers in our organization, they're so excited by this, they feel supported by this, and it was so exciting uh, just to let everyone know that, uh, that this is a good quality place for women to work, that they can be supported in whatever phase of life that they're in to both care for their families and grow their careers. Other companies should pursue this certification because women offer incredibly valuable perspective and voice to the workforce. Every company benefits from having women in their workforce. By taking these steps, by getting this certification, by making sure that you have the education and resources available for pregnant and nursing mothers, you are creating a holistically welcoming environment for women. That will make sure that women come to your company and stay within your company and will revolutionize where you can go with your company. My name is Emily Koken. I work for Bailey Nurseries in Bearwood Inventory and Bearwood Storage. You basically work out of your vehicles. You have to bring your own water, your own food, your own ice packs, like everything. So where the difficulty was, was talking to my manager about where I could have a private place to pump over the summer months. I was told you have to pump out of your vehicle, which would be in the middle of a field. I wouldn't have a fridge to put milk in. I don't have an outlet for my pump. There's really no way to clean the pump parts in between because we don't have clean running water. That was just kind of brushed off. When I told my manager that I wanted these accommodations and it was just kind of dismissed and you know brushed off until it was more of a problem, it was, it was heartbreaking because these things are very important to me. I don't want to lose my supply because I got to keep that up for my baby. I guess for any woman, it's difficult to come back to a job after being pregnant, after giving birth, and starting to pump, and then asking for more things when already you're playing catch up with everything because you've been gone for maybe three months. And now you're asking for things and you're like, oh no, I can't be asking for this. They're, they're gonna look down at me. They're gonna think it's too much and then I'm too much trouble, I suppose. And it's scary. When I first was looking at accommodations, I really didn't know what was legal. I've been going to like a new mom's group and they brought it up there. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna do a little more research. And then I looked up the standards for the Department of Labor, I talked to them. What ended up happening for accommodations was I was provided with a battery operated pump. Uh, they purchased new pump parts so I wouldn't have to wash them in between. My vehicle is gonna have shields around it so that I can still pump and have privacy. Now I know I can pump in my vehicle and I know there's going to be privacy and I know they made an effort to, to accommodate that. It shouldn't be so hard and so stressful to want to pump and provide food for your child. It should be, it shouldn't be stressful. It should just be normalized because there is, there is help out there for you. You just have to look and you have to you know, advocate for yourself, which is hard, but I'm really glad that I did.